I just uploaded this video and now it has a copyright claim. Now anybody, beginner, marketer, YouTuber, content creator, the first time this happens to you, you are going to freak out because you're gonna be like, what? And the reality is, is that most people are either going to delete the video or they're just going to let it be as is, which means the person that claimed the copyright is going to get any monetization ad dollars that you may make off the video. Now, as of right now, it says it's ineligible because there is a copyright claim, meaning that I cannot actually get the ad dollars, but the company will. Now, once again, I'm going to tell you that this is a false copyright claim. And why is that? Well, the video and information that I used, I used a service. I used a video content creator called Lumen5. All I was doing was creating example videos of Lumen5, putting them in a mashup, basically a compilation. But I made all the videos myself. I used, uh, you know, scripts that I can legally use and all of this media inside of Lumen5 that I can also legally use. Uploaded the video to YouTube and instantly like BAM they have put a copyright claim now who is they now that I've run into this company before so before I used videos I've uploaded from uh, Finami which is no longer in use this exact same company has actually put copyright claims now what they have is they've got bots out there that go out there and look for media to put this claim on so they can actually get the ad revenue paid to the copyright owner so they're saying that they are the owner on behalf of story plots bullshit but that's actually not true. Now, when you pay for any service like Lumen5, you buy the rights to the media because they buy the rights to the media. So if you come to Lumen5 help files and just put in copyright claims, they've got whole articles on here, recent articles as of a week ago, saying why this happened and, and why they are false. They even say that you can contact them and they will remove the media in the future, but in most cases they will actually help you dispute the claim as well. But it's easy for you to do. So let me show you how to do it. So we're just going to do it right now live. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So over here in select action, you're just going to click the drop down and we're going to click dispute. So we're going to say that we have the right to this media and that is a false claim. So, you know, back off, right? These options here don't actually apply to me. It's either I own a copy of the song or video, not true. I'm not making money from the video, not true. I gave credit to the copyright owner, not true. All right, because I didn't have to, right? So my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above, but I would still like to dispute the claim, yes. Now I get the option that I'm looking for, which is going to be license. I have permission or a license to use the content claimed in my video. That is absolutely true. Click continue and read this. And it's basically going to say, you know, that you're, it's not a false claim. You have permission to use this content from the copyright owner. We're going to say yes. Then we're going to include the license information below. And we're going to say we made video with Lumen five who pays for the right to use media for we'll say to allow their customers to use the media including the claimed false song all right, and then we're going to say my video does not infringe on anybody's copyright. I understand that the claimant will be able to review my video. Yep, I understand that the filing fraudulent disputes may result in termination of my YouTube channel. Now, it's not fraudulent on my part. It's fraudulent on their part. It is a bot. It's happened before and it's going to happen again. So don't let them get your ad dollars. It's not fair. And they're doing it because they can. So hit submit and you're good to go. The dispute will be submitted. Uh, and it will be removed at some point and then it's you know saying it dispute expires 21 29 days it usually happens within a few days it is a sunday right now so it probably won't actually uh, get removed until the actual week but it will be removed if it's not i'll make another video but if you don't hear from me then just assume it got removed and yeah then i can make the ad dollars off of the video